The first is automated passport control and the other global entry. At first glance, the kiosks might look similar, but they have some important differences. First, let's talk about automated passport control or APC. APC kiosks do not require any pre-registration or background screening, and there is no fee to use the kiosks. All you have to do is scan your passport and follow the prompts on the touchscreen. United States citizens, Canadian citizens, and international visitors traveling on a B1 or B2 visa are eligible to use the APC kiosks. Foreign visitors can also use APC if they have previously been admitted to the U.S. under the Visa Waiver Program with a valid ESTA and who have visited the U.S. at least once since 2008. You can also use APC kiosks as an individual traveler or as a family unit if members of your group all reside at the same address. And remember, thanks to APC, you don't need to fill out a customs declaration on the plane. You'll do that right there at the kiosk. Now, all you have to do is hand your printed receipt and passport to a friendly CBP officer as part of the inspection and interview process. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Next, let's talk about the Global Entry Kiosk and some of the benefits, including TSA PreCheck. Like APC users, Global Entry members also use self-service kiosks, but they must undergo a background screening and interview and pay a one-time $100 fee. There are two primary benefits of membership. First, unlike APC kiosk users, GE members typically do not have to present themselves for inspection to a CBP officer. And secondly, Global Entry members enjoy TSA PreCheck benefits. Place your documents inside the front cover of your passport with the CBP declaration form. When it is your turn, a CBP officer will call you to the counter to review your documents, perform queries in the computer system, and interview you regarding details of your visit to the United States or your trip abroad. Some of the questions we may ask are... What's the purpose of your trip today? I'm coming for a business conference. How long will you be in the United States? Be ready to answer questions. Pay close attention to the officer to speed the process. As a visitor, you are required to have your photo and fingerprints taken. Can you take your glasses off for a photo, please? Thank you. You may be asked some additional questions. Where are you coming from right now? From England. If you have anything to declare, including purchases or food products of any kind, make sure to inform the CBP officer. Meats, vegetables, alcohol, tobacco? One bottle of whiskey. Everyone must declare all merchandise to include gifts and food and plant products you are bringing into the United States. This includes U.S. citizens and legal residents who must declare all items they purchased while abroad. Failure to declare these items can result in fines, penalties, and seizure of those items. If you are carrying an I-94 form, take a moment to be sure all of the information is correct and your departure date is clearly marked by a CBP officer. It will be stapled to your passport. Don't lose it. You will need to turn it in when departing the United States.